It's time for a struggle challenge. Let's see what you've got for me today. This week, your challenge is to make a one to two bite appetizer to dunk into a splashy dipping sauce before the shot clock runs out. Make sure you make enough to feed the whole team. I like it. Let's see what we've got to work with. Da -da -da! Okay, we've got little mini dogs here. We've also got big dogs. We've got some dough, cheese, uh, more cheese, pickles, poppers, bacons, pizza crust. Is this imported from Italy? Nothing in the freezer. Okay, um, so the question is to make a one to two bite appetizer that we can dip into a sauce. And obviously we wanna have several of them because we've gotta feed the whole team. Right away I'm looking at these mini Frankies and I'm thinking about wrapping them in puff pastry, perhaps getting some cheese in there as well. Um, well, I could do bacon, although that would require pre-cooking. So you know what, no pig belly. We're just gonna stick with the Franks here, puff pastry around it, onto a stick, boom, into a fryer, and then we gotta think about something that's gonna be delicious to dip it into. Let's go to the fridge over there and see what else we got to work with. I think I've got an idea of where we're headed. I got potato chips, and I'm thinking the move is just to make a simple batter. All right, so we got some sour cream, and I see a beer. Beer is good for a batter. All right, let's get started. We're making a batter. So I'm losing these. I don't want bacon. Um, I do think some potato chips crushed up could be interesting to sprinkle on the batter. Let's crush up some potato chips. So if I can figure out a way to get this on the batter, I think it's gonna be a nice addition. Let's add some hot pepper to this. What do you say? Got some cayenne. Oh yeah. I'm thinking the heat's gonna have to be in spice form because I don't see how I'm gonna get a jalapeno on a stick and still keep it a one to two bite thing. Jalapenos, you were just eliminated. Goodbye. So, we've got some spicy chips here. Woo! Definitely spicy. All right, I'm opening up these mini dogs here. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just inspect this for a second, okay? If I put a dog on a stick. Yeah, I've got a crazy concept here, like, okay. If the hot dog is cut in half, and then it's reassembled like this, how is that? Yeah. This is surrounded by batter. We've got our hot, cheesy center. Boom. All right, let's just bang out a couple of these. There are these Korean corn dogs with cheese in the middle. They're on a stick. I'm taking inspiration from that. It's like a pig in a blanket brought into the future. Let's make that cool dipping sauce real quick. Got some sour cream. Let's get a little pickle brine in there. Fun. Pickle brine is like mostly vinegar and sugar. It's a really nice cooling element. Let's get some spices. Garlic powder, onion powder. We've got mint here. So I'm thinking mint is cooling. And since these are gonna be fried, we should have something to balance that. Salt and pepper. I'm thinking we can use just a touch of milk to thin it out. Yeah, that's nice. Really good. Batter time. I've got a beer. So a beer batter is really simple. It's essentially flour and beer. I have flour right here. We'll hit it with a little salt, some pepper, and I'm feeling paprika. Paprika. Mix, mix, mix. All right, let's get a little beer in there. Just try to bring it together. All right, so it can take a lot more beer than I was anticipating. I hope this isn't enough batter. We're gonna find out. How is that looking? It's looking pretty good. What if we do this and we go into the fryer? Oh, I love it. All right, let's see how our first one is looking. <laughs> oh boy. They look pretty good. All right, let's make some without potato chips. Let's see what happens. They're definitely satisfying the one to two bite criteria. The beer batter looks really, really nice. Even the one with the chips is pretty interesting. I feel like I could have benefited from some jalapenos chopped up, you know, some color of some sort. That said, handheld, convenient, I'm giving them an eight. This is our standard one without any potato chips on the outside. Let's see how it dunks. I mean, the cheese is fantastic. Hot dog's wonderful. The batter is super light. Let's try this one. Dunk. Mm. 
yum. These taste really good. I like them both. I don't have a winner. The potato chip with the spicy cayenne actually works really well. It adds a little crunch in there, which is nice. The just standard beer batter one, super soft, very light filling, nicely seasoned. This dip, it's got this minty brightness, which is really nice, so it is cooling things off. That said, we could add a lot more flavor to this, but I think it's a solid eight, which brings it to a 16, which is a B minus. And that's a good score. But I would say we crushed this challenge. Remember, it was a one to two bite appetizer that you could dump into a cooling sauce. Did we achieve that? Yes. Overall mission has been achieved. We come to an 80%, which is a B minus. And that's better than I did in high school most of the time. So I'm pleased with a B minus. Thank you for this challenge.